All right, today we're going to do this kind of quick video on the Windsor Design 60 inch four drawer hardwood workbench. This is um, from Harbor Freight, and I got it on sale. I think I picked it up for about $140. Um, does have all of the bench dog holes across the top, which are kind of nice, and it comes with four of the longer um, wood pegs four of the metal ones to go in there. It's uh, a bit of a pain to kind of put together, I will say, because a lot of the screw holes don't exactly line up correctly on it. Some of them have to drill out. Their screws are also incredibly short. The only thing that is fully assembled on this is the top piece and the side panels for it. We'll say the top piece is about three quarters of an inch thick. It is not this full thickness. It is only three quarters of an inch. And um, the drawers don't exactly go together that well as far as fitment. I spent a while trying to get these straight and leveled out. As you can see, they're still kind of crooked. They slide super easy. They have this um, green felt in the bottom, which not too much of a fan of, just because stuff sticks to it, it gets a little hard to clean out. And they only come out about three quarters of the way. They don't come out any farther. So as you can see, I mean, I'm back to first set of knuckles of how far back the drawer actually is in from there. The only other kind of complaint I have about it is the bench dug holes go all the way through it. If you got stuff on top, you end up with sawdust inside of your top drawers. So just keep that in mind if you pick it up of what you have is what's going to be in there. The bottom shelf can actually hold, I think it's about two or 250 pounds. Works pretty good for holding things. It's got a nice lip on the side, so if you don't have another place for your clamps to mount at, you can just kind of squeeze them onto the side real quick over there. It's got a good gap on the bottom of it as well. The side clamp, it's just kind of this bar clamp that spins out. It does pretty good. Um, I've used it a couple of times for cutting things off. You definitely want to make sure you have something that at least comes back to the second half because if you're clamping in, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but it'll actually, there's quite a bit of play in that. So it'll actually end up clamping it sort of sideways on you. But using the dogs to hold stuff down, a couple pieces I've had in there have uh, worked out pretty good. The only other thing too is on the handle, these rubber caps on the end of this. If you have it and you're kind of like me and you just let stuff drop, at some point in time the bar will fall out. So, I mean, simple thing of just put a screw through the end of the cap and it'll stop that rubber piece from falling off the end. They just push back on. They hold pretty well, but it's just kind of if you have a tendency to drop them. The clamp goes through the underside and down. And this is more of what was put together, but there are small wood screws. They tend to strip out pretty easy inside of the wood. So I would, like I said, I'd recommend either longer screws, a slightly bigger screw. And some of my holes didn't line up exactly. So there was kind of some finessing to get stuff to go in with the way that they sent it. I'll probably at some point in time take this whole thing back apart, redrill some holes and go with some better screws inside of it. But honestly, for cost of wood and everything right now, it being 150 bucks, it is five feet across the top and it is, or 60 inches, five feet. And it is, I do believe it was, came out to 20 inches deep. So, I mean, not very, deep as far as a bench top goes but honestly it's i mostly use this for gluing up and small assembly so it works out great for me I'm pricing that harbor freight everything 
on sale, couldn't build it for what it cost. Um, I would recommend it as long as the little slight annoyances don't bother you too much. It's a pretty decent workbench for the cost. Anyways, thanks for stopping in and have a good day.